So how did the Las Vegas real estate market fare for February 2019? Well, that's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing by clicking that button down below and even that little bell for notifications because I talk about all kinds of cool stuff Las Vegas related and you don't want to miss out. Welcome to the March issue of my monthly minute market update for Southern Nevada. Today I will be going over February 2019 numbers. The housing market's normally busy spring selling season may be slightly slower this year amid Las Vegas's nationally leading price growth. The medium sales price of previously owned single family homes, which compromises the bulk of the market, was $296,200 for February, down 1.3% from January, but up 7.7% from February, according to a new report from the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. Last month, there were a total of 1,966 single-family houses sold, up 7.8% from January, but down 7.6% from February 2018. Southern Nevada also had a total number of 3,403 new listings for the month of February, down 10.6% from January, and up 7.5% year over year. However, there were a total number of 7,134 single-family houses listed without offers in February, down 1.7% from January, but up 95.3% from the prior year. This number is almost doubled from a year ago. We have about a 3.6 month housing supply in Southern Nevada, down 8.8% from January, but up 111.4% from the prior year. 48.2% of the closings for February was on the market for 30 days or less. So Southern Nevada's sales drop actually mirror the national trend. So there's nothing to really worry about if the rest of the country is experiencing the same thing. But with prices rising faster than average incomes in recent years, sellers have been slashing their prices. Southern Nevada home prices were up 11.4% year over year in December, which is more than double the national rate of 4.7%, according to a report by the S&P CoreLogic Case-Shiller Index. Las Vegas's price growth was the fastest among 20 markets in the report for seven consecutive months. Prices have been rising amid an expanding population and a strengthened job market, but sales have tumbled amid affordability concerns. Home builders, for instance, last year closed the most sales in Southern Nevada in more than a decade and fetched the highest prices. But they started 2019 with the fewest monthly closings in two years. Builders closed 611 new home sales in January which was down 14% from a year earlier and the lowest tally since January 2017, according to Las Vegas-based Home Builders Research Report. If you're thinking about buying a new home build this year, please watch my video on why you need your own real estate agent representing you. So what does this all mean? Well, as a seller, one of the key factors is that you need to price your home according to market value if you want to sell your home faster. Also, you can watch one of my videos, Why Isn't My House Selling? Or another video I had was tips on how to stage your home to sell. To get a better understanding on what you really need to do to get your home sold in this market. As a buyer, the Las Vegas real estate market is starting to pick up. After all, we are heading into our spring and summer buying frenzy season. But that doesn't mean you still can't get a great deal. Our last two buyers, we were able to negotiate a deal where the seller had to pay for all of their closing costs, which is very huge. I mean, that's huge savings because typically closing costs can run anywhere between 2.5% and 3% of the purchase price. But I wouldn't wait much longer. 
we're actually starting to pick up. Um, I've been sending listings to clients and the next day, half full of those listings are already under contract. So now, like I've been stating, is a great time to buy while there's less competition um, and then you have less opportunity getting into a bidding war. If you'd like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I've posted a link down in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed my monthly minute market update for March 2019. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada with the O'Hare team at Urban Nest Realty. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning all things real estate in the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you on the next one.